you're a vet and you're a wounded vet, I, I definitely encourage you to do something like this. I'm, I'm not a wounded vet, but I've met some guys that are here, so, and, uh, you know, they open up, they talk, you can talk to somebody, they got connections to people if you need help. Definitely, if somebody needs to go on something like this, that would go for sure. Yeah, it would. I think it would be a healing process. I went to the recruiter, I actually stopped at the Marines first, and I was like, well, I don't know if I want to be a Marine. <laughs> and then uh, I had a good friend come home from the Navy and he goes, Eric, you'd want to be a CB, a heavy equipment operator. He said that was, you know, you'd love it. You know, and I kind of wanted to be a farmer and that kind of thing, you know, and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. And so that's what I did. It was a really tight billet to get into. And the uh, only problem was I had to leave right away. It wasn't like a week or two. It was like, you, you got to leave like on Wednesday, which was my birthday. I left on my birthday, I turned 20 years old. I got sent to Port Wayne, California, which was pretty cool. I, I was glad I went there. And uh, so that was my A school, spent my time there. And uh, from there, I got orders to go to Japan. I was in a supply depot. I uh, hauled the uh, um, supplies to all the ships that were anchored in Yakuska. And there was the USS Midway, the Blue Ridge. A couple of fast frigates were out there. Real good experience. Some are some of the nicest people I've ever met too. I mean, really good people, honest. You could drop your wallet and you would get it back with everything in it. I mean, that's, I, I used to have a motorcycle there. I'd have a tank bag on my tank, you know, and you could leave it and, and you ain't gonna stick real, you know, expensive things in there. But I mean, nobody messed with your stuff, which was pretty cool. I met some good people showed me around, which was a huge thing, because when I first got there, culture shock for sure. <laughs> I was in Jabal, which is in Saudi Arabia, and we stayed in Saudi Arabia, and then we, we pushed towards Kuwait. We ne I never went into Kuwait, but I think we were like 12 or 13 miles from Kuwait when like the war started and everything. And A small group of our guys went with the Marines when they did. I mean literally lasted you know three or four days and it was kind of over. So drove a, a dump truck, dozer, scraper, um, we ran supplies I mean so we had tactical trucks just running supplies that kind of thing. We're kind of the back backfield guys you know what I mean. So we built all these camps for the Marines which you know we do work with the Marines quite a bit and uh, they'd come come back from their faxes and going out in the field, you know, and uh, they would have a place to shower up, sleep, you know, have a hot meal. So it was a good thing for them. Tell you what, I remember when the, the, the war actually started, when we actually started bombing them. So our planes would always fly up to like, it must have been the Kuwaiti border and they'd cut. They'd always do that constantly. You'd see this every night, because I was actually on security at the time. And we, we, we were away from Jabal now. We're out in the middle of the desert. There's nothing out there. We just got this camp out in the middle of nowhere, you know. And uh, anyways, uh, we're all out in our foxholes because we had foxholes and trenches and everything. And uh, the planes didn't stop that night and they gave us extra ammo, but they didn't tell us the war was starting. I mean, this was all a secret, you know. So anyways, we started watching the planes and they're they were going straight, you know, they did not turn anymore, and there was a lot of them. And then you could see the explosions. I'll never forget that. Uh, you know, when we came back from Desert Storm, we got such a good greeting. I, you know, I think that was one of the, one of the biggest things that'll stick in my mind. I, you've seen people lined up all across the blocks when we were taking our bus back from the airport there, and uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, I won't forget that.